are back with Life for Cousin Patches. And I'm sitting here with my special guest. Yes, my big sister, Marie. Now, y'all remember her from the foodie video? Hello. Let's go check her out. Yeah, we called her Crazy Marie. So, oh, I right know, Crazy Marie. Because she told me to go crazy on that man's ass. Anyhow, y'all all know Mom Dukes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I'm sitting here just pissed the fuck off about this child abuse that I've been seeing that's going on around the world. And you know I believe in beating ass. But y'all done gone, these motherfuckers done gone too far. Girl, they took it too I am going to actually get their live reaction from showing them a video that y'all put on my page. And I'm going to get their live reaction because I'm getting ready to play the video. But it's about the nanny who was babysitting, it was an African family, and, and the nanny was babysitting this little girl. She had to be no more than one and a half, maybe that much. And she threw the food up on the floor. She beat the shit out of it. So, anyhow, I'm going to show them the raw footage, and y'all going to see their reaction. I'm going to touch y'all like it's on earth. Mm-mm. 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 Bad. Now you see her feeding a little girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, she was smacking Don't the baby. No oh. 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 I'm, I'm outraged. Again, three smacks oh to the child. We're seeing me personally. Here, finish watching the video. You got to finish I'm watching done. it. I know, and I'm seeing it. No, you need to watch it. I'm, I'm getting your reaction. You need to watch the whole little video. It is, it is, you know. Now she's going to eat the food herself. Beating the baby, threw the baby to the floor. I'm, I'm just angry. A dirty whore. I would kill that bitch. How oh dare you beat a baby like that? Oh, she stepped on that baby. Oh my god. And she kicked and it in the face. Kicking it. I would kill oh that bitch. Oh my god. Now this is the fucking nanny, right? Yes. Where, where they, their parents don't notice nothing, no bruises. And they, as soon as they came home, they found the video. Oh, my God. And she just back there probably beating the hell out of that baby. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I had to, today's show is about child abuse. The video was too graphic for me to even show you guys. Horrifying. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a drink to that, my damn self. It's oh. a... I'll finish mine. Oh my God! Oh my God! She needs to be tortured. This is the 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 hard way for the rest of her natural. Where where did this take place? It does look like was in Africa somewhere. um, I have no idea where it takes place. Hold on, I gotta uh, look it up. She's about twenty-two years. Oh my God! Uh, Yeah, she was in East Africa. She was in East Africa. And the parents had left and went to work. It took someone a strong courage to seek out the full length of this video and what really comes to mind after the last <laughs> second have played out on how humiliating can a nanny be to a precious little girl named Anina. Oh, my God. Uh, and, you know, this lady is 22. Mm. The, mm. the nanny. Like her name was Jolly. Jolly Tumahama Wee is 22. Peter, oh my God! It's I'm. Uh, I go too bad right. for this. Now, I know that's right. I can ride for this. Baby started puking. Baby started puking. Okay, we're talking about how old is the baby? Baby, well, one and a half, eighteen months. Okay, eighteen months. She's a baby. Okay, eighteen months. 
She didn't want that food. She was fussing. That's why she kept smacking. She kept smacking her because the food was nasty. And so the fat bitch was going to sit there and try to eat the food herself. And the little girl threw up the food. Uh, but, but I was already pissed at her just smacking the baby in the mouth. Just kept smacking her. That already had me ready to come through the screen. I got this oh on a God. Facebook thing. I guess for y'all can hear what I had to talk about about this. But I was outraged. And I'm just now showing them this. It messed up my whole morning. I had oh a rage oh inside God. of me that built like no other. I hope they take child abuse just as seriously as we do down here in America. I will stump the monkey oh shit God. out of that bitch in the words. Ah, uh, and bring her ass back to life so she yes. can get fucked up all over again. Just reset from all her. Her. Why don't we try time. this? Why don't we just give her a uh, essence of what really goes nah, on? Nah, bitch, she needs the whole full actual. I'm talking yeah. about you know parents coming together as a whole again. Uh huh. Let's, that's what everybody started doing. If you got nasty, they want to stomp her ass. Honey, too, put cameras video. all around your hands. Whatever yeah, you got to do, uh -huh. because they don't make God sense. Oh I'm so God. They don't make God sense. I'm so glad they did put cameras speak. in their house. Yes. Right. But to beat that baby like that. Oh my God. They gone too far. And it's not just oh in God. Africa. It's, it's not just there. It's all over. It's all over. It's up the street. <sighs> it might be next door. <sighs> You never know. That's how they found that boy and, in the wall. Yes. What's his name? Gregory? Yes. The little boy was Gregory. Somewhere here in Georgia. The, yes, they was. Boy here was Gregory. Yeah. And no. what is he, 13? Yes. He was nine when he come up missing. His dad kidnapped him. Missing, and he was there for four years. And he came to the fake wall. Wow. Plow What's going wall. on all of And when anybody asks about the little boy, they'll be like, we don't know who you're talking about. What little boy? Disney? Yeah, they don't know who you and what you are talking about. Now, I'm just flabbergasted because on the news, they was worried about who had custody of the child. They was more worried about They even had some uh, home homeboys from the hood talking about, well, he's a good father. Right. And I'm like, I don't give a damn what What's good father. I don't oh give a God. shit about who got custody. He was in a wall. A fucking wall. And they had put... Uh, towel racks up and put towels over there. So yeah. it looked like it was just a towel rack fucking wall. This boy behind the wall living his life. They letting him out to go up and sweep the fucking roof like the a attic. Yeah. Roof. They had him on the side of the house, on top of the roof, laying Sweet. shingles and shit. And then stuck back in the attic. And a neighbor and the front the yard. Wall. The front yard mm -hmm. was always immaculate. I bet it was. <laughs> and so now they come out of them and the step up mother, on the roof. And oh the God. stepmother, she was guilty of charges happening maybe about three, four years. Yeah, she back. already had she like, already had previous charges on to begin with. From her own six year old son yes. where she took some garden oh shirts and put them on the stove and let the bad boys heat the fuck up and then went to proceed to cut that boy's tongue out. This is the same woman oh that sit there, they can tell it. Uh, crazy boy. Yeah. Now he's 13. Now see I how in the hell she slipped through the cracks to even be around just somebody's child to stuff. begin with. I, I'm just so upset by this such injustice <sighs> that's going on around her. You know, thank God a little boy oh. had enough sense. Apparently the police or somebody came to the house and, uh, and they had enough sense for him to, to holler out for help. And that's how he got rescued. And it was right here in my own hometown. It was in Georgia. You're in Georgia. And that's it's it's sad. It was it was here in Georgia. What's well, even what's even more worse? They already been there once before. Sure mm -hmm. yeah. And looked around and didn't notice nothing. Did not notice Jack. So this little boy got a whole Shit. lot behind the wall. Now he had, he, now you know his personality is split into several different pieces. All he had to entertain himself was himself. Yes, he had a very bubbly personality despite all. He had a very bubbly personality, despite all. Yes. It's horrible. Little Gregory, the boy in the wall. I love this, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, Gregory is the one from here. Yeah, the one from here is... Little it? Gregory, the boy in the wall. Gregory's the one that... Uh, I wanted to get his parents' name out, honey. Yes. Honey. Little yeah, well, yeah, his name was yeah, Gregory. Was, Gregory was uh, a senior. senior. And he, he, he I mean, Gregory Jr. Uh-huh. Okay. It sure was. And his his mother and father 
threw him in a while. And everybody's trying to find the his, his, his father and stepmother. Step, his father and stepmother. Yeah, because he got reunited with his with real mother. Yeah, oh, well, she got in trouble mother. a couple of years ago for what she did with her own six year old You're right. son. He was missing for four years. Yeah, I know. Behind the wild. They kidnapped him. The father kidnapped mm-hmm. him when he was nine. It just now he just now got out of the wall. He's thirteen, so it's four years. It says That is ridiculous. I, oh I I'm outraged. Not only you know, not only that, just in Texas, a woman that folded up her special child, she had Down syndrome, one of Jerry's kids' babies. And fold her up and put her in the crisper next to the tomatoes and lettuce. And ate out of the refrigerator for weeks? Yes. And you did The like body a- was emaciated, which means all of the fluids was drained out of that child. There was nothing but skin and bone and tissue. That means she had to squeeze and- all that blood out of her body. Oh my God! And fold her up and put her in the drawers. What was she like? Twelve? Like yes, yeah, she, yeah, she, she was, was like she weighed about seventeen pounds. Seventeen pounds. Yeah. Oh my God. And stuck her in the refrigerator and continued to use the refrigerator. Like we use our refrigerator. That bitch's mama's day. name was Alice. No, no, no. Amber. 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 Yes. I think Tyler or something like that. Amber. Either way, she was thirty-five. Yeah, she was thirty-five. In Texas. In and Texas. Houston, Texas. And I'm so outraged. I'm so outraged because I do not believe in this type of fucking abuse. That's crazy. To beat the kids into the wall, stick them in refrigerators. What the fuck? Y'all just got this word is gone oh, and shit. If they're not doing that, if not oh, all the above, God. they run around screwing the kids. They do every damn thing oh, to them kids. It's ridiculous. So, what well, does I, it I say about this world? I the next world? generation or two. It's like... They are fucking up and muddying the waters of all of our legacy. I really am, I am frightened. I mean, no, I am, I'm it's so crazy. frightened. Can't leave your kids with nobody. Because I'm telling you now, it couldn't have been mad. Because I would have been beat to hell. This is the reason why I didn't go into social work. I had wanted actually to be like a foster parent or something like that. I would be a, a social worker. Because I, I would be beaten to hell. But I ended up getting out of all the parents. Right. Just coming on days to come and visit the kids after beating them, molesting them, and doing them wrong, I would be right now locked up in prison. I would have been a serial killer of all child abusers because I'm not with it. I you can't stand child abusers. It's a difference mm-hmm. between getting your ass whooped mm-hmm. the kick and getting the fucking abuse. It would be yeah. so. See, you just like the uh, Nisi said right here. It's the vigilante. Vigilante. Mm-hmm. That's the difference between it's you not know, a serial killer. Right. Uh, because you're cleaning up the. Because I'm pretty sure you be doing the government's work. Uh, you know why? It's because not, it's not these a people, publicly acceptable. Yeah, it they throw them. It would be happening. They would be in prison. Out. They mess around. Get out. What the hell they do? Go run and do the same damn thing. Ain't nothing in nobody's kids safe. Period. It's so ain't. And I think if you have a against a child, they should brand your ass. You should have some type of uh, uh, iron X on your forehead, on the side yeah. of your neck, behind your ears, and we wow, know that you defended a child. And okay. maybe if you have some shit that you, you might be spreading, not telling nobody about. Why don't so you? I think they should start branding fuckers. I agree I'm, with I'm, that. I'm not with it. I'd like to know no. if see, I'm dealing with some fucked up people. Before we brand them, right. there's my I take on it. Well, there's Maria's take on all this. Now, first, before you brand them and do like what they was talking about doing, whatever they did to them kids, you do it to them first. Cut, forgiven. Cut they dick off. Then brand them and let them bleed through society instead of weighing taxpayers' money. That'll kill the overcrowding of prison. It won't happen again no more. And not only that, motherfuckers will come to their fucking senses they show it real it. quick. I would know? just put battery acid on it every day. So that you can feel that pain every fucking day until you have nothing. I think they should start chopping limbs out. And then taking every you, piece. Yes. You touch and molest the kid, you get your thing snatched the fuck off and have to deal with a, a colostomy bag on the side, pissing on the side. I feel like if you're battering women, your oh, hands you be should be chopped the fuck off. Only thing you'll be able to steal is donuts and shit. From I know, that's right. You know, I just think, I believe in culture punishment. To a degree. If you do fucked up shit to old people and, and children, children I, I, you people. deserve all the wrongness in the world. Yeah, and if I, I see you doing you. it, I will come for you. 
I'm not playing. I've been trained west side, bitch. Uh, I will come uh, for you. Uh, so abuse my motherfucking baby. Abuse my baby. Let me see a kid next door not even looking right. I don't give a fuck if I'm over somebody else's house visiting and they got a kid around her not looking right or looking abused. I am going to put a stop to it. I'm not with it. I'm no. not with it, honey. We just did that not too long ago in front of the damn courthouse. We sure did. Didn't we remember when we went, uh, we was driving back yes. from the courthouse? We was leaving from taking care of some business and having to ride up on some foul shit. It was slinging that baby and fighting and shit. It what made it so bad? It was, then nobody else stopped to think to even try to do anything. But what these two do? And there was police officers looking out the window. Yeah, I don't door. even know what they talking about. So let me make y'all up to speed. We <laughs> was driving down the street, <laughs> and we seen a, a, a lady and two look like young women, and a baby. Maybe the baby was maybe like nine months. The, well, the one child was holding the baby, and the child. lady was beating the hell out of the child. Now, I myself. Couldn't watch all this go on because, like she said, y'all know I'm not with it. I actually jumped out of the murder dog, which I will tell y'all about the murder dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, otherwise, Joe Wirt, oh, wow. Wirt that of murder dog and something else, but we'll talk about that in another video. And we stopped the truck and we jumped the hell out and uh, proceeded to run up on the scene and I grabbed the baby. The girl didn't want to let the baby go, but I grabbed the baby. Meanwhile, Nisi's trying to pull him apart, you know, from fighting. I have the baby and shit. I'm over here breathing out heavy because just to run up the hill is a whole lot. You know, my body don't be doing well all the damn time. But I got the baby. The mother was like, you know, my daughters are disrespectful. I'm trying to make them go inside this court and uh, put a uh, little juvenile delinquent warrants on their asses and, uh, and I, she was getting ready to drop my baby. Yeah, but not going to school. Yeah, they not going to yeah. And I'm like, you getting ready to drop the baby because, you know, bitch, you beating, the, you beating them up. Right here in front of the courthouse. But before I allowed them to, you know, go at it head to head, I took the baby. And then I kind of let her choke up the two daughters a little bit, a little bit before I was like, hey! And bring it up. And Nisi was like, yes, bring it up. And started separating people. And Marie kind of hung back tight because she every time we get into shit like this, she know the popo is usually a call. Yes, yeah, because we was right there at the goddamn car. Right in front of them. They Mind you, the I just got there, okay? And they wasn't even going to stop and do anything. Right. They were looking out the door in the window. <laughs> I just got here. On. And I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't see it, but I didn't know. But they were at the wrong place. So, hell yeah, I'm standing there. And who they want to talk to? Me. Always me. And I'm here sitting here holding this baby fetus. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, look, officer, I just wanted to make sure this child was straight. And I'm everybody separating quit. everybody. They didn't even want to talk to me. I was like, well, all right. Yeah, but they want to come talk to my crazy <laughs> I was like, please just let me go. No, you cannot go till you give us your side of the story. But the moral of the story is, even if sometimes you may not want to get involved, uh, you have to when it comes down to these children. You have to. Mm -hmm. If you see somebody doing something wrong, or if you notice they had three kids and all of a sudden they just have two and you ask about the kids and they be like, what child? Who? Right. Billy who? You know, do a little investigating a little bit. I, 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 just, I just can't take it. I, I really can't. Um, I, I, don't, I don't appreciate it. There's, there's a difference between disciplining your child and stone cold abuse. So, call somebody, uh, get the police involved, do whatever you need to do to save a child. Even, right. you know, anybody who is not in their right man, you know, yeah, you know, you got to have the jury kids. Yeah. And old people. Disability or elderly. Yeah. You know. Because nowadays they raping old people, and I don't appreciate that. You know? And, um, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just crazy. They had a you case. Know? They had a case there in Kentucky. I think about, maybe about six months ago. This guy was a caretaker of this lady. He done robbed her out of, what, more than 45000 or better and money alone. Mm -mm -mm. Turn up, he was raping her, sodomizing her, everything, uh, everything underneath the sun, oh, humanly possible. Special health. I, I see, yeah, and it's it's, it's it's really crazy because my mama was like, she was at a, a funeral with one of our great aunties, and they was helping her after they was helping her from the van onto the ground in her little wheelchair, 
and the orderly was pulling her down. I wonder the people was pulling her down. And his waistline was at her neck, and she got to holler. Yeah, girl, his dickies on my neck. His dickies on my neck. It's Grandma Celine uh, and Mama uh, at Mama's funeral. Oh. Uh, and that was with Jesse's uh, brother. I, I, well, I'm still uh, with Jesse's oh, brother whose dick was on her butt. And it got real. And yeah. it got real just that yeah. quick. Well, see, she wouldn't feel that way if nobody wasn't trying to put that dick on her neck once before. You know what I'm saying? What have y'all done to these wait, old wait, people? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to say something, though. Grandma would smack an ass. And pinch your butt. Grandma was notorious. Yeah, but and I know, know you're not supposed to, but I'm just telling yeah, you yeah. that she was. Come here, little boy. Oh, yes. Well, I'm, <laughs> 90 all I'm saying is, <laughs> yes. you know, he so was just pepper her down. And just because she might have volunteered. his pelvic was near his like, head, put that in my face she like went that. to purr panic. Yeah, she yeah. did. She went to purr panic. Yeah. All I know is she panicked, and all yeah. they were doing was helping her down. Yeah. And she was like, your dick is on my neck, my dick is on your neck. <laughs> I did not know he was talking about your uh, grandmama. Yeah. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but, you know, I feel like that was a cry out. But there might have been some type of abuse some damn word. Oh, and, wow. you know, because it shouldn't be that lady's first yeah. thought. Just, well, you know, hey, leave my old people alone. Yeah. And, you know, in the hole. In the hole. So, the next time y'all see me again, don't forget to tell a friend, tell their mama, tell their brother, tell their cousins, even my enemies, to subscribe to Life with Cousin Patches. And don't forget about Sweet Editions TV with Candy mm -hmm. and 1975 Patches with Mama Tina. Watch and rerun, y'all, because y'all know I'm retired. Oh, Man, Nancy, we ain't gonna let her do it. <laughs>